Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. I already pulled the, the uh, Celtic spread. Because I usually do that first, it makes the video shorter. <laughs> uh, so, what we got for all around energy. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. Is the Eight of Wands. This is, something's about to happen that'll make you, that'll make your heart smile. Loving message comes out of the blue. Okay. So expect a message from someone. Your present situation. Is the Ace of Cups. So you've got an offering of love. But you have to maintain a, a pure heart. And if you do. It's an absolute yes from the universe. Your immediate challenge. It's the Queen of Wands. Fire energy. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this is somebody who's confident, compassionate, an older woman. Who isn't afraid of much and might be able to help you with something. So this is your challenge. I don't know. We'll see why in just a minute. In your distant past, you get Six of Pentacles. That is being generous to other people, spreading your wealth. So, you're a generous person. Cancers usually, usually are. And in your most recent past, you got the Nine of Wands. Now, this is not gender based and take what resonates and leave the rest behind. So, this could be male or female, also Queen of Wands, male or female. And um, this is somebody who's good looking, basically a player. And uh, the real success, the real self-assured, that's for sure. Um, but they're not in for the long haul. They're, they're going to leave as quick as they got there. So that was in the recent past. This would be the best outcome. Is to be brave about the situation. Exercise self-control so you can get to victory and tame your inner demons. No matter what this situation is, stay in control and keep your strength. In your immediate future, You got the Queen of Cups. Ooh, did I mess up somewhere? Yes, I did. Hold on a moment. I gotta figure out how to interpret that. Because it can be one of two things. It's someone offering nothing but joy and abundance around you. Love and compassion, pure intentions, and you can trust her. She just gets you. So 
So this is in your immediate future. Then, we got factors affecting this situation. It's the Empress. This is a mother figure. Powerful, self-assured. Um, success in all areas. And, uh, if it feels too good to be true, you worked for it. Don't question it. This is what's affecting the situation. Like I said, everybody's different. Everybody's got their own situation. Stick what resonates and leave the rest behind. Factors on the outside of the situation. That's, um... What's affecting the whole situation on the outer world is the King of Wands in reverse. You're not going to get any support from a fire sign, probably. Sagittarius, Leo, Aqu Aries. Sorry, I keep putting Aquarius. I don't know why I say Aquarius. Um, you're probably not going to get any sort support from them if they're a person that's in your life. Or, uh, you may lose some money. Maybe a loss of things. Okay. Hopes and fears. For the Six of Cups. This is reminiscing on the past. And, uh, someone's thinking about you, or you're thinking about them. But lighten up, don't take life so seriously, all right? Because the final outcome is the truth of the matter. Which is <sighs> the competition in some area of your life, uh, whether it be work, love, whatever. In my, in my opinion, this is all about love because you got the Queen of Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups on the table, which signifies, and the Knight of Wands. That signifies actually three people. So, I think that's what this card's all about. I'm pretty sure that's what this card's all about. Um, and you're not the only player on the field. This player looks like he's might be playing two queens. And this is letting... The Cancer know that they're not the only player on the field. So, like I said, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If it doesn't resonate at all, it's not your read. Okay. That's for regular tarot. Pull some goddess cards, ascension cards, and... Some angel oracle cards. All around, it was a pretty good read. Best one I had so far. The easiest one. Careful who you spend your energy on. Don't let nobody have it that don't deserve it. Or keep it for yourself. 
Because we are powerful beings and we don't have to give our power away. for Cancer Sun Moon Rising. If it's going to be a yoni spread. <clears throat> Reality beyond appearances. Spirit's advice. Whoa. And the final outcome. And I guess you got all three at once. Wow, you got some pretty cool cards. Got it. Got Isis, a high priestess for reality beyond appearances. And then you got Pele, the purifier. For spirit's advice. And the final outcome is love. So this was a love reading. Looks like you have a choice. Choose love. I'll, I'll read you the cards. That way it clarifies everything for you. I'm going to do reality beyond appearances. Isis. Aisha shows you how to live and navigate your life through honoring the honoring of your inner guidance and intuitive knowing. Her magnificent presence resonates her shining wisdom that is present to experience. Your intuition is accessed through the depth of your being and knowing, through introspective and receptive states, through meditation and the dream time. Isis urges you to take no counsel outside of your own wisdom. To go deep into your inner landscape where the guidance you seek is found. Alright. Yeah, you got two major arcanas there. Wow. And then we get Pele. She is the primal force. When Pele appears, expect the unexpected. Her purifying fire often destroys well-laid plans and established comfortable form that no longer serves you. She brings the supreme opportunity to align with spirit and come away from the attachment to the physical world and the past. Through her dismembering influences and rude awakenings, you are regenerated right down to your cells. Told you these are ascension cards. And we got love. This is a Cancer card. Wow. Venus in Cancer. And this is a Cancer's heart. Two dolphins playing, dancing, water of love. Representing intimate relationship on all levels. Two waterfalls flow into one. Just as individuality forms. The strong basis of true union. Merging into oneness comes as the isolated ego is surrendered into the ocean of love. Love is who you are and is all around you to, to experience. Open your heart fully to, to, to the relationship you deserve. So whatever that means for you. Okay, that was the goddess cards. Since this reads all about love, I can't wait to see what the romance angels have to say, but we'll go to the angel oracle first, and then the romance angels. Just know that you're not the only player in this game. 
But it looks like it's in your favor. And you make the right choice. Anybody can say they love you, but, but do they really? <coughs> Something I've learned on my journey. That's for sure. Alright. Angels, what do you got to say to my cancers? Sun, moon, rising. jumping down here. It's telling me to take off five. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. I don't think I've ever pulled that many at once. This is entrepreneur. Self-employment. Suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to be a better, to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. You got focus on service. That's that card right there. Oops. It says focus on service. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in the constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in the, in the stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. Beautiful card. Creative project. Somebody got a creative project in the midst? Your soul looks to express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to infuse artistry and, and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and, and excited. It reignites passion towards your life. Hmm. That one there. Love these cards. They're so pretty. Um... Blessing in disguise. <clears throat> what appears to be a problem is actually part of your unanswered prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. Watch the people who are coming in and out of your life. Pay close attention. We got Daydream. Somebody else got this card too. I don't remember which one. You are more easily here and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. Okay. And you got perfect timing. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open. 
while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are ripe for your success. Everything and everyone, everyone is on your side, supporting your positive outcome. Wow. Nice read, Cancers. Like I said, since this is, seems to be all about love, let's see what the romance angels got to say. Alright. This has been the longest reading so far. Guess they got a lot to say to you guys. Give it one more time. Alrighty. This is for Cancer Sun Moon Rising and their love life. I'll pull three cards unless it spits more out at me. Sometimes I just gotta take what I'm told to take. Looks like they want to jump out, they just don't, they're not coming out. Come on, come on. Oh, there's this one. This says, heart to heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So whoever this is, you need to be honest with them. Both of them, or all three of them, or however many there are. You need to be honest with everybody. No, wow. Pay attention to the red flags. Signs are, there are signs that are cautioning you. So pay attention. Make the right choices. Okay. So like I said, these, these cards are not gender based. So the king and queen of wands or the, the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups can be two different people. Just be careful which one you choose because it seems like one of them might be wearing a false mask. And oh my goodness. Look at this one. One of them is a past life relationship. So you may not have known them in this incarnation. But you may have known them in a past incarnation. Or in the past period. But usually this means past life regression. This means it's from another lifetime. It says you have known each other before. So whoever this is. One of them. 
could possibly be your twin flame. You're split apart. That's what I like to call them. Okay? And I'll pull one Divine Feminine card for you. And that'll be your read, Cancer. All together, that was... It's a great read. But somebody's being a player. Playing a couple of people at once. Don't make the wrong choice. There are red flags. Have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with both of them. Or all three of them. Or, like I said, even if it's with your significant other. Or somebody you like. This could be karma coming around, too. Just be careful with that. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. Let's see which goddesses you get. So far, it's all kind of went together here. So, this is the message. These cards are giant. And I thought I had big hands for a girl. Alright, looks like one wants to pop out. Khadija. The mother of believers. I am spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. That's who you are, Cancer. You know, 